every now and then I get so excited about a solution, I have to record a video like on the spot to share it with you. And that's what I did tonight. Um, so it's a little late we're recording this, but I'm excited. I think I got something really cool to show you. Um, what was the problem? I'm going to show you the solution. And then I'm just going to give you my solution so you don't even have to do the same thing as me. But I'm also going to talk through how I got to this solution because I think it's important and I think you'll learn something. So um, what was the problem? The problem was a couple months ago, I made a video about UV scripts and I just started writing a bunch of scripts and then there were scripts all over the place and I, I didn't store them in the same location. They were in different repositories. It was getting crazy and overwhelming. Um, so I was writing UV scripts. I was writing bash scripts. I needed some way to organize them, to version control them and to create them from templates because I found I was just creating these scripts and doing the same thing over and over again. How do we solve this? Well, you can go up into the top right here. And what I have is a command new script network, my new script UV. When I run this, it's going to create a script in my scripts directory under the network uh, folder. That's the category. So we have bash dev network system utils UV. And I get this cool script. And if I open that and bring it into view here, um, the script has a template. It has some metadata. Um, this is the UV script initial initialization um, kind of framework, and then it has some boilerplate. So just like that, we can do that with UV scripts. We can do it with um, bash scripts as well. Uh, we can create a new bash script um, that we get here. Just like that, we have our bash script template. That is the solution. How did I get to this solution? I just use AI. <laughs> I hate I hate to use that as kind of, you know, like my catch-all, but what I did was I opened up Raycast AI and I said, how can I create a directory of reusable bash scripts? Now, this is a little bit more complicated, so there was some back and forth. I said, how can I organize these? I spelled organize wrong as well, apparently. Um, and I kind of drilled down and started getting to my solution, reading through the outputs, and then, hey, you know, like, I'm lazy. Can you actually just give me a command to run to generate this structure? Now, this didn't work. There was some back and forth again. Um, it took some trial and error, but what I want to illustrate is that this is something I was able to do in 15 minutes that I actually learned about how this works. And I learned the solution to alias this command and source uh, the Z my ZSHRC file to build these types of automations. Um, and so again, I'm going to attach a Git repository with all of this. So you could just clone it down, drop Git, and you'll have the same thing. But the other thing that I did was write these readme files. So I went back and forth with, with AI, and then I documented all of this. So I wrote, um, I generated this with AI also so that I wouldn't forget, so that I understand how it's configured, and so that now I can take it and I can share it with you as well. And so we're going to talk through configuration in one second here, but what I want to, the point I want to make is basically like you can take problems, break them down with AI, and then implement solutions, even if you don't really understand um, or you don't know much about the uh, sort of underlying solution. You can learn about the solution on the way. And that's what I did here, building this out. Now I have a workflow that's going to save me time. Um, and if you find all these things in your life, in your work, uh, that kind of take a lot of time and they bug you and you realize they take away from the more important work, and one by one you knock those out, um, you can get to a place where you don't have many annoying things or you have much better workflows and you can get more done. And I think the crazy thing is that pre-AI, this thing would have been, uh, this solution would have been, I have to sit down for a couple hours and figure this out because I don't know about it, right? And I'm new to this sort of workflow or this sort of development. But today it can be, I'm going to sit down in 15 minutes and figure this out. And then I'm going to implement the solution. And then I'm going to make a video and show it to other people so it takes them five minutes, right? And that is the amazing thing about AI. And I think it's what's allowing us to get more productive than we ever have before. I think it's super important. Um, and I'm really excited about it. That's why I'm making videos. But how do you set this up? In my readme, I'm going to document how all of this works. So go to the GitHub link in the description. That's going to walk through everything. But the only real thing you have to do is um, in your ZSH RC, or if you're using a bash RC, add these two lines, export path, home developer scripts bin path, and then you're going to source the scripts zsh config.zsh. Um, and in this config, we're aliasing um, that command new script uh, to the new script uh, file. We're also aliasing a command to the script index file, which I didn't talk about. Um, but once you do that, you'll be able to, assuming you change the directories to wherever this lives on your local machine, you'll be able to run that new script command. 
And so, yeah, you can just clone down this repository, do a little bit of configuration. You'll have your own system for organizing these scripts. But the point I want to make to you is that if this doesn't work for your exact workflow, you can customize it by prompting back and forth with AI. You can learn how to implement solutions to your own problems, and you can enable yourself to do things that you couldn't have done before that would have taken you a very long time. That's the power of AI. That's why I get excited about building demos like these. And I was really excited about the solution. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this makes your life a little bit easier. Check out some of my other videos on UV scripts. Obviously, I'm also the head of DevRel at Replit. Check out all my Replit content because I think there's a ton of room for automation using Replit for building things you couldn't build before using Replit. Again, I'm Matt. I appreciate you sticking around. Until next time, peace.